for the event, Barry Windham, Rock and Roll Express, against Arn Anderson, Pauly Blanchard, and Lex Luger, the total package. Great event here. Six mans are always exciting, but when you talk about six of the best athletes in the world, it puts a special meaning into it, J.J. Well, it sure does, and of course, anytime, whether one of the horsemen, two of the horsemen, especially when you got three of them out there, it's a, it's a special occasion and a real treat for the fans. It's something that and I really can't fully explain what the mystique is. I don't know, but as you look around the arena, and you see the sign of success, the four fingers being held up by wrestling fans. Uh, they just want to relate to the four horsemen and what we're all about. Barry Windham with the barrage of blows coming out and knocks Blanchard right back to the corner. Both Arn and Luger complaining about the use of the clinch fist. And you don't like it at all. No, I've got, I've had my problems with Tommy Young, too. I know there's a lot of people that felt after the incident uh, that took place in Greensboro that somehow they thought that Tommy Young was in my pocket or something. That's the first thing they're going to scream out. But full investigation by uh, Crockett Promotions and the NWA exonerated uh, Tommy Young. If anything, he can be accused of uh, a bad decision. And I don't care how great a referee you are, anybody is susceptible to that. Tommy Young did the best that he could, and even Dusty Rhodes himself said he was there, and I won the world title. He's the best referee in the in the profession today, but sometimes uh, I lose my patience with him, too. Arn Anderson backing up towards his corner, and Barry Windham saying, oh, no, I'm not going to go in there. It's so dangerous when you're in the corner with the horseman. Arn talking to strategy over with Blanchard and with Luger, and Windham thinks back towards his corner. So far, just feeding each other out right now. Neutral corner. Anderson with that left hand in the gut. And he's got Wyndham in the room. Wyndham reverses. And a high backdrop right on the small of the back. Drop kick. You don't see a man that tall get up that high often, JJ. No, but now the ring is full of horsemen. Here come the Rock and Roll Express. The action has really exploded. I think right now is a good time to retreat. And let's go. Uh, kind of reassemble our faculties a little bit and decide what we're going to do from here. Of course, when Arn Anderson, the enforcer, retreats, it's time for everybody to back off. If he doesn't back off very often, but from very many. But, uh, that's, uh, we have to give credit to the Rock and Roll Express that they lack in size, they make up for in speed. And Barry Wyndham not only possesses that same speed, but Barry Wyndham uh, had a big young fellow himself. He really is. So far, it's been all Barry Windham. And say what you want to about, now Luger's going to come in here. Say what you want to about going out on the floor, but that is controlling the pace of the match. Is what you like. yeah, that's true. That's what the ropes are there for, and that's what the 10 count is there for. Once you leave the ring, you got to count, a ten, count of 10 to get back into the ring and resume the action. And uh, sometimes it's just smart thinking to take advantage of that time. Here are two guys who have been friends in the past, close friends, and now on opposite sides of the ring, Ricky Morton comes in. Really a size mismatch here, but that will not slow down this man. One half of the World Tag Team Champions. Luger has him back in the corner and wailing away on him in the corner. Shoots him across, and Morton with that quickness moves out of the way. Back with the arm again, that left arm, and here comes Robert Gibson. Quickness, speed, being able to take control of the match. That's what they're all about, J.J., Robert and Ricky. Now that's correct. And, you know, here's where your, your size advantage is minimized. When you get a man down off his feet, now you can see they're looking almost eye to eye. And this is where the professional rules differ so much from the amateur rules in that you can take and you can take a bar and turn, work one joint against the way it's intended to go. And I don't care how big you are, it hurts. Wyndham comes off and right in the rib cage with that one. A right hand. And now Luger, who came in like a ball of fire, being on the receiving end of some punishment on that left arm. I think, Tony, this is a very good time to point out. And last couple of weeks, the matches have been so exciting, we really didn't get a chance to, to say so. But I know we have a lot of young fans sitting at home watching the matches. And they see a lot of these moves uh, on television. And I think uh, the parents have to impress upon them that these are professionals. And when you're watching the NWA and Jim Crock promotions, you're watching the best of the best. These are the finest wrestlers in the world. And the moves that they've perfected in the ring, there's a lot of years of experience behind them. They're very dangerous moves. And uh, 
The injury potential, even with all their knowledge, is still there, and I'm a prime example of that. The injury that I suffered, and the youngsters sitting at home should never, ever even attempt to, to try some of the moves that they see here on television. You're exactly right, but they should come back right after this timeout, because we will. aftermath Tony of the six-way action that we saw before we went to the break and uh, I'm really upset again with Tommy Young feel that he should be doing a little bit better job a little bit stronger effort to try and maintain order in the ring but now we've got things settled down and we're back to the action but realistically JJ there's only so much one referee can do when you talk about six athletes who really don't like each other well that's what Tommy Young is saying to me as he raise his arms in frustration what do you want me to do well i want him to do what he's paid for and that's get in there and uh, exercise is a fun okay blanchard and morton are in two fine athletes and they really match up quite well together both are quick strong and both are champions looks like ricky morton's taunting him a little bit sticking that chin out there and telling tully blanchard go ahead, take your best shot Ricky never wants to back down from anybody. There's a snapmare, takes him over. Blanchard measures him out. And he caught it, JJ. Caught that leg. And now right to the figure four. Ricky Morton has it slapped Here on. Here comes Arn Anderson. He came in to try and break up the figure four leg lock. Down he goes. Now Barry Wyndham's got him. Come on, Lex, get in there. Get this broke up. Oh, Gibson went right for the leg. And now he has it on. And now all three men have the figure four applied to the horse. And look at Tommy Young standing there. Well, he's standing there for a reason. That's because of you. And there's a quick exit right to the floor. Ricky Morton over the top rope, and Tommy didn't see it. That would have been a disqualification. Well, I wasn't sure if he went over the top rope. My, but you have good vision. It was very quick, I'll admit that. And now Wyndham protects his man. Dark Journey trying to help out things in the corner, and J.J. Trying to jug off that right hand. Still trying to get the cobwebs loose. Uh, I really couldn't see. I, I, I would have admonished my men if they'd have thrown him over the top rope, but I'm sure that I'm sure that they didn't. Well, knowing the situation you were in, I could see why you wouldn't see him. Trying to go with the sunset flip. And now Lex Luger, too close to the rope right there. Now's where the power of big Lex Luger, the total package, is going to take his effect. Ricky Morton really is uh, as tough as he is, and he is tough, and as fast as he is. The size of Lex Luger, the longer he stays in the ring, is going to take its toll. His only way out here is to somehow get to his corner, either get a tag to Robert Gibson or to Barry Wyndham, and to get a little relief, but Lex Luger's got other plans. And Luger winning maybe a little bit too slow that time because now Morton with three in a row, right hands, the last one right to the chin. Breaks him across the eyes, and Tommy Young trying to stop Robert Gibson from coming in as Morton is battered in the neutral court. Luger holds him up, knocks him down again. Opposite way, Morton came right off and kicked him right in the head. Right, close enough to the horseman's corner. Lex Luger very alertly tagged Tully Blanchard. Now they've got a fresh man in. The horseman again showing why there's such a great tag team combination no matter which group you send in there. Two men, six men, eight men, no matter how you want to do it. And Tully will keep that line drawn. He'll stay in his half of the corner if at all possible. In the neutral corner right now. But he'll try to make that action swerve to his right. Opposite way, Ricky Morton reverses. Blanchard comes off. Good move, and Morton flips him over. Got a two count. And now he's close enough to make a tag again, and a great move by Blanchard to block the tag from Ricky Morton. There again, Arn Anderson showing his experience, even though he's having to suffer a few blows at the frustration of Barry Wyndham, but he very alertly went over there and knocked the man off the corner so he couldn't make the tag. We have to take a break, fans. We'll be back right after this timeout.
event, and now it's Ricky Morton with an upper hand on Arn Anderson right up against the rope. When we broke away, Anderson trying to rub Morton's face in, but now both men dazed, fighting back. Morton looked like a headbutt that time. You don't see that many times for Ricky Morton, and Arn Anderson goes down. Morton does also. No, Tony, a six-man tag team comp competition such as this is really very exciting to watch because uh, the tags come so frequently. The fresh man is in there all the time, and it seems like it's really nonstop action. Pulling at the face right now, Blanchard, and that time it looked like maybe Gibson came over to break it up. Oh, Morton hits the floor, lands on his feet, but slides right to that fence. Luger up against the fence again, hurting that rib cage, the shoulder area. And now down again, right at the feet of J.J. Dillon. You know, Tony, Tully Blanchard and Arn Anderson have really made a public statement to the fact that they, as a tag team combat, combination of two of them have their sights on the world tag team title of course the rock and roll express are aware of this and the last thing they want to do is to lose a fall to either Tully Blanchard or Arn Anderson even though it's an eight-man match or a six-man match such as this nothing really at stake other than the reputation but as champions they wouldn't want to lose a fall to someone who said hey I'm out after this time pulling out ahead now Morton Arn Anderson trying to just inflict some pain on the youngster, part of the Rock and Roll Express. And but Luger looks like he's pulling Arn's trunks with some more leverage, and that brings in Barry Wendell. See, Tony, as brilliant as an announcer you are, sometimes you can't really fully understand what you're seeing. Lex Luger was trying to keep him from falling into the ropes that would have caused a break. Okay, I understand. Going by the rules, again, as always, the full thing. An elbow to the midsection. Luger gets up. He's to the corner. Once again, the action stays in the horseman half of the ring. And that's why they're successful. Once again, a legal tag. And it was. A reversal by Ricky Martin. He comes away with a third win and nails Arn Anderson. And there's oh. your DDT. Yes, DDT. That's what you said. And Arn Anderson right fat on his face, right in the middle of the ring. Now it's a question of who's going to get to the corner first, Tony. Oh, I thought he had him, but no. The other tag was made also. A fresh Barry Windham and a fresh Tully Blanchard. But Barry Windham sure has the momentum right now. And they're horsemen all over that ring. And Robert Gibson in also as Ricky Morton is still hurting down in the corner. It's Windham, Tully Blanchard. Tommy Young looking the other way. Windham with a lariat. And he nailed Blanchard. And here comes the cover. And a double team break that time. A save in by the horseman, and now all six men are in. Now the ring's filled up again. Ricky Morton with Arn Anderson out to the floor. Lex Luger throws Robert Gibson out to the floor. And now two horsemen in the ring with Barry Windham, and he's in real, real trouble. Lex Luger with Windham. Picks him up with that backbreaker. This is it. This could be all over right here, the backbreaker. Blanchard comes off, and Tommy Young. I don't understand that. Tully Blanchard slipped off the top rope, and the referee found that to be grounds for disqualification. Oh, Tommy Young, I can't believe you've done it again. Well, whatever the case may be, there are your winners. Robert Gibson, Ricky Morton, Barry Windham, by disqualification over Lex Luger, Tully Blanchard, Arn Anderson, along with J.J. and Dark Brooks. Your winner on Superbat, a very distraught James K. Dillon.